What happens when kids get strep once or even multiple times? This is my daughter's last few dose of antibiotics for strep. This is her second time having it in six months and her third time having a lifetime and she's only seven. So in today's video, I wanted us to chat about strep in kids. I am Dr. Nkirika. I am a pediatrician, a pediatric care doctor, and also a mom of three. We all know it as strep, strep throat, but there is a longer name because the organism that causes it is strep pyogenes or called group A strep. Strep infections, especially strep throat, is very common in kids, especially kids who are five and above, the school age kids, because their whole petri dish of infection, they keep sharing it in school. Kids who are three years and younger typically don't have the classic strep throat infection, but they can have strep of the butthole. So if you're concerned about strep in your house, make sure you ch check your child's butthole because they may just have strep there. Strep throat infections are more common around the late fall, around September, October, and then again in the spring. So this is why my daughter currently has it now because they actually had it in fall and also has it now again. The most common symptoms that kids have from strep are fevers, sore throat, difficult to swallowing or pain with swallowing. And for those who are unable to tell you how they're feeling, they may just refuse to drink because it actually hurts to eat or drink. Some kids may also have and actually start with complaints of headache, belly pain, and actually you may notice some swollen lymph nodes on the sides of the neck as well. Other situations, they may develop the classic rash we should describe as being sandpaper, which is a scarlet fever. And some kids may not have the sore throat as the first symptom. They may just have the fever and the rash, maybe belly pain. And that will be the only manifestation manifestation for strep. While adults don't typically have cough with their strep symptoms, kids may have cough. Remember, when kids pick up infections from other kids, they may also be picking up a virus. So while cough and URI symptoms, which are symptoms are not classic for strep, your child may have a little bit of a cough in addition to other strep symptoms because they're fighting two different infections. A more scary type of strep is what we call invasive strep, which is when strep goes into the bloodstream and makes your child really sicker. It is different from sore throat. It is not a common as sore throat or strep throat but I always want you to keep an eye on if your child is getting sicker and you're concerned invasive strep is one we're usually worried about and we usually want kids to be checked out immediately. In our own case my child my daughter had fevers for like 48 hours with no other symptoms and subsequently developed a little bit of a headache a little bit of sore throat and a cough and when we got her tested she was positive for strep. And now talking about testing strep can be diagnosed by doing a small test which is called a strep swab test where they use something that looks like a cute tip and feels like a q-tip to clean the back of your child's throat one thing i want to mention as regards testing is to make sure that you and whoever is getting the test is working your child and encouraging them to open their mouth correctly because kids are anxious understandably so they may not open their mouth wide enough for them to get the q-tip all the way back and if they don't collect an accurate sample of where the back of the throat and the tonsils are the child's test might be negative and an incorrectly tested swab and a negative test means your child might have strep but they were not treated because they did not get a good enough sample. I am saying this from experience because my daughter had an initial test which was negative and I knew how the sample was collected and I told them immediately so they were able to retest them again kindly and she was actually positive for strep. For kids and babies who have the butt strep which looks like a classy red ring around their butthole, they will be doing a test of their butthole area for the same strep. If a child's strep is positive, either for the throat or the butthole, you may be offered two different options of treatment. The injection is actually my preferred option for kids who struggle with taking medication or have hassles with taking medication because it's one dose of injection and they require nothing else. The second option is an oral medication, either suspension or pills, which is typically penicillin or moxicillin that the child has to take for 10 days. If your child is allergic to penicillin, selling the also other options one of them is azithromycin the most important thing to know about treating strep is that the antibiotic dose has to be completed for the duration of dose if your child is given for 10 days we want to make sure you're taking it for 10 days because strep is dangerous and can cause complications if it's incompletely or improperly treated. Some of these complications can be throat abscesses, uh, can be kidney problems, and even heart problems that some of them may manifest immediately during the time you have strep or might manifest along the line if the antibiotics is not completed. While your child is taking antibiotic for strep, some other soothing remedies that you can try are pain control, like acetaminophen and ibuprofen. You can also try honey for those 
those who like honey and other things would be like cool juices popsicles ice cream just to kind of get them comfortable to be able to take the medication as everything else continues to heal and the best part of getting diagnosed and starting treatment early for strep is that your child can go back to school within 12 hours of starting antibiotics because that's when they're considered less infectious once antibiotics are started but because we also want to make sure that kids are comfortable going back to school and also not in pain we also say to give them maybe 24 hours one and make sure they're not in pain too and three make sure they did not have fevers 24 hours without medication so we are on day eight of amoxicillin and we have two more days to go my daughter actually had to stay an extra day after she started medication because she continued to have fevers so we kept her home until she was 24 hours without a fever without any fever controlling medicine which is like either acetaminophen or ibuprofen i hope this video has been helpful for you and your family to understand strep symptoms how to test and how to treat. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions concerning strep or how your child strep, if your child has ever strep before and how the experience was.